Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Alright, so here's another Holiday Cup feature, and here we feature Alolan Mirawak, or otherwise known as AWAC. Now, Alolan Mirawak has been insanely powerful throughout Go Battle League. If you've noticed, it's boned and blasted its way to prominence, and it's very it's been very powerful since the preseason. It's been very prominent in several cups as well, such as Halloween, Kanto Cup, and now the Holiday Cup. And it's not a surprise to see why AWAC is so powerful. So Lola Marowak does have high defense and it has a very balanced stat spread. It has very good moves, a unique typing, and but like I said, great stat spread, unique typing, great moves equals a monster for Open Great League, and it can actually be used for the Holiday Cup. As you see here, you have a you have a ton of resistances, but some weaknesses as well. So for the Holiday Cup, your weaknesses will probably be Alolan Graveler, there's actually not a lot of like rock type coverage here. Your worst rock type you're probably going to worry about is Alolan Graveler. That's literally what it is. Water is coming from those lanterns, those possible lanterns out there. Of course, al of course, mirrored Alolan Werewax where you get where they have Shadow Bone, Shadow Ball. Dark types like Obstagoon and ground types like stun fisk and not the g fisk but regular stun fisk so but out of as but there's not a lot of like prominent like these are basically charged moves for the most part not really fast moves so it's very interesting how lola marowak plays but it's very strong in the halloween cup as you see here you have a ton of resistances you won't see bug much in this cup or you'll see fighting a lot because of counter users. So Alola Merak is very strong against pseudo counter users, as well as normal types. So body slams don't do much. You actually you actually double resist it because of the ghost typing. You also resist fairies. So you have you resist the charmers opposing AWACS with fire spin, and fire is actually a pretty good typing in holiday cups. So you resist that. You also resist the grass and ice typings from Obama Snow and Dugongs if they decide to do Dugong. Now you won't see much poison and steel in this cup. However. However, those mag Magnezone mirror shots, you do resist them if you do encounter in Magnezone. Overall, the reason why mostly that Alolan Merak is so powerful as well is its moveset. Fire Spin and Hex are two very good moves. And as you see here, you have the option using Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and Shadow Bone. Versal, powerful, many resistances, and a great stat pool makes AWAC a monster since the preseason and here for the Holiday Cup. Alright, so here we have the Holiday Cup rankings, pubedoc.com. As you see here, Lolan Marowak ranks at number 8. It, Lolans are very powerful for like several cups, and Lolan Marowak is no different for the Holiday Cup. As you see here, very powerful lead, very good stats as well as a switch as a closer. So it does very well in all positions, especially as a lead. It's actually one of the best leads in the Holiday Cup. As you see here, you do beat Vigoroth, you beat Skarmory, you beat Wigglytuff, Galvantula, Obama Snow. So you have you do very strong against Galvantula, Obama Snow, and Vigoroth, Skarmory, and, and Wigglytuff, like Charmers, and also Steel types. You do lose it. It's kind of you do lose against all some picks that can be very popular. As you see here, you won't you probably won't see a lot of Stunfist, but Alolan Gravelers out there also uh, the i would say the top two so obstacle and altari are probably going to be your biggest problems and i can see them being very popular because of their availability and just because of how long they've been around as you see obstacle and altaria very good very very popular so that's the only concern you won't see much alola graveler stunfist or diggersby if you do you do lose against them so keep that in mind as a lead alola marowak ranks at number two in the lead as you see here does very well against the previous mentioned as we did overall in the closer, it's very, it's still good as well as a closer. Alola Merak ranks at number, go down, go down, go down, 43. So not too bad, but you beat things like Vigoroth and Skarmory. You actually are able to beat Sunfisk in the closer. You beat Galanchula as well as Obama Stowe. And your key loss is basically the same thing, Obstagoon, Altaria, Lantern, remember I mentioned like Hydro Pumps from Lantern, etc. Diggers, but you do lose against that as well. As a switch, Alolan Marowak is not great as a switch. It's actually good as a switch, like not great, but it's good. As you see here, you pretty much win and lose against the same things overall. These are your main matchups you'll go against. Try to avoid Altaria and Obstagoon as much as you can, unless you have energy or shield advantage.
or unless you can absolutely help it. But as you see, Alola Murawak is very, very powerful for the Holiday Cup. It's it's really day. It's really good. Ranks really high in multiple position, and overall, it's a monster. And it can be. You probably already have one built because it's been it's been out for so long. And of course, we if you did the raid day for Marowak, you definitely have one built for the Holiday Cup. All right, my favorite part of peepoke.com are the videos is the matrix. If you, again, if you would like to, please consider donating to peepoke.com. This is an open website, and the human being that does it is an amazing human being. And if it was for all the support, we wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do what I do. As you see here, I literally put every variation of Alola Marowak known to the arsenal and the armistice of AWAC, AWACage, if you want to go there. Anyways, the arsenal of AWAC, as you see here, Fire Spin, Shadow Bone, Fire Spin, Shadow Ball, Bone Club. I put the preferred move set. I put the ball instead of the bone. I also have the Hex Bone, the Hex Ball, the Hex Bone Fire Blast, the Hex Blast, and the, the Spin Blast, if you want to go there. As, yeah. I put multiple variations. You kind of want to go with Fire Spin, Shadow Bone, Bone Club. However, you can use Hex. This is going to give you all the options. So if you do want to run Hex, you feel comfortable doing that. Here it is right here. And as you see, I have the two shield. We're going to run the battle simulator. As you see here. All right, let's go to town. As you see, all versions of AWACS, whether you have Hex or not, will beat Obama Snow in the two shield. Now, it, Fire Spin is super important. The, thing, the reason why you want Fire Spin is because... Obama Snow, you can farm down Obama Snow. Like, straight fire spin. That's why it's, like, that valuable. Now, obviously, you're going to lose against Altaria and Dugong. Unfortunately, Dugong does have Water Pulse, and it's very, very bulky, so it's very dangerous to play it. You will lose against Diggersby, as you see here. However, you also, you are able to beat Driftlim, depending on which moveset you have, actually. So, dip, you need Shadow Bone to take out Driftlim because you won't get the ball. That's the thing about it. Shadow Bone and Shadow Ball are what allow you to get to allow you to take out drift Blue. now frostless you beat it in all variations as you see here because it is weak to your hex slash fire spins now you need the fire spin variation to beat galvantula you can beat it with hex but you need hex bone club shadow ball so fire spin preferred but like you could still be with hex as you see here however if you don't have bone club at uh, bone club shadow bone it's going to be rough because you don't beat it unless you have unless you have bo shadow bone and or fire spin as you see here, the Hex variation, this is where it gets a little interesting. As you see your Hex Shadow Bone Bone Club actually beats a Lolling Graveler in the two shield. I think you, I think you go straight, you, but you bait with the Bone Clubs and then you ball and then you bone it. Actually, you could win it just straight because I, yeah, this is where it gets interesting. So straight, you can actually go straight Bone Club. So you beat a Lolling Graveler straight Bone Club, bo straight Bone Club Hex that, but it loses against other variations. A Graveler has a very strong match against AWAC, so this is something you might consider if you like running Hex. As you see here, Fire Spin, you still able to beat Lantern, you just straight bone it. And you need that, you need Bone Club, you need Bone Club, well, yeah, you need Bone Club in order to win. In order to beat Lantern. So you need Fire Spin Bone Club or Hex Bone Club. A Hex Bone Club will make you win it comfortably. As you see here, using Hex or Fire, or fire Spin does matter. And you see Hex gives you some advantages that Fire Spin does not. Like the Alolan Marowak Mirror. If you have Hex, you can beat Alolan Marowak in the Mirror. Very comfortably. Because Hex it is hex generates more energy. And you also do super effective damage against Marowak. And their Fire Spins resist you. Of course, it's the other way around. If they have Hex, you're in trouble too. Or that's going to be... Who plays better? That's all you got to say. Now against Magnezone, unless you have Bone Club, you don't beat it. So you need Bone Club to beat Magnezone. As you see here, Bone Club Fire Spin or Bone Club Hex. It doesn't matter which one. As long as you have Bone Club, you can take it out. And you also beat Lapras. You can beat Lapras. This is close because if Lapras has Energy Lead, it can beat you because of Surf. So be careful. However, if you do have the Bone Club, the Hex variation or the like, uh, yeah, it's, this is a, you do beat Lapras in the twos. However, be careful because if it does have Energy Lead, it can Surf you down. So just, just be very careful. As you see, you beat Alolan. Another reason why you want to run Fire Spin, look at the rating you have. You can actually farm down Alolan Marowak. You beat Skarmory with all variations. You lose against Snorlax just because it does resist. Those licks hit. Those licks do a lot of damage. Uh, that's the thing. Snorlax is very, is able to basically, it doesn't wall you per se, but as you see, it has a very strong match against Alolan Marowak. So you have to be very careful. Stuff is also B2 because those Thundershocks plus Mud Bomb is just such a devastating weapon against Alone Marowak. You're able to beat Talonflame with all variations. Now, this is where it gets dicey. If you do use Hex, as you see here, 
You do use Hex, you have to be a little careful because the Lodemare Vigoroth does resist your Hex, does resist Hex damage because it's a normal type. You beat Whimsicott, you do beat Charmers pretty comfortably. However, this is where the Hex also can kind of bite you in the butt. As you see here, Hex Wigglytuff is a normal type, so it does resist Ghost. So you need Fire Spin in order to have a very comfortable chance. Fire Spin, Shadow Ball, Shadow Ball, that's what you need to be able to have a very comfortable match against Wigglytuff because you beat it. As you see, Alolan Merak is very powerful. Hex and Fire Spin give you options, and overall, it is a very strong mon for the Holiday Cup. All right, so I matched the one shield. Here's the one shield. Run the one shield. We did the two shield. Here's the one shield. The one shield, you're actually able to flip the Dugong matchup. As you see, you're able to defeat Dugong in the one shield. Diggersby still beats you. You beat Driplum. You beat Frostless. You'll lose against Fro you. Actually, no. You should be able to win just Fire Spin. But be careful. If this is very bait dependent, so. With you be the with this move set with Fire Blast and Shadow Ball, and the reason why I have that is because Bone Club. You don't have bait ability. However, if you don't call Frostless a Shadow Ball, it does kill you. So be careful. You do be go Avantula. You lose against Gra You will lose against the Water Gun against. Well, yeah, you're gonna lose against Spark because of its ability to hit Hydro Pump. You can flip this matchup if you call. You might be able to flip this if you call the Thunderbolt. So if you do, if so, let's do. Well, that actually really depends. Because Thunderbolt really does hurt. So if you take away Hydro Pump, if your opponent tries to go straight Thunderbolt, what happens? What happens in the one shield if they just go straight? If they try to go, if they, if you block the Hydro Pump, what happens? Okay, so Lantern can go straight Hydro Pump against you. So you just have to be really careful because it can just, it has a very strong matchup against you. It could just go straight Hydro. You beat Lapras in the one shield still. However, you have to be careful depending on what moveset you do run against it. As you see here. Wins or losses. You generally, you'll win against Lapras. So generally, you can win against Lapras. So just, that's a strong rating. So I'm pretty sure you could just go straight Shadow Bone in this scenario and still win it. As you see here, you block the Surf. It surfs you again. You can live. If you try to go straight Shadow... Actually, why am I going Sandbox mode? If you go straight Shadow Bone, you should be okay. So as you see here, we go straight Shadow Bone. You should be able to still win because it's comfortable. Okay, never mind. You do not. Okay, so you have to bait with... You have to either have Energy Lead or bait with Bone Club. So this is a bait-dependent matchup for Lapras. You have to bait... Like I mentioned, you have to have Energy Lead or you have to bait with Bone Club. The good news is you still beat Magnezone. You beat Magnezone, straight Bone Club it to death. You'll lose against Mandibuzz because of the Dark Typing. And, well, Mandibuzz actually effectively... Kind of... It, it effectively walls you. So just be very careful about Mandibuzz unless you are using Fire Spin. But even if you're using Fire Spin, look at those ratings. You're going to lose. So be very careful. We already went over the Lolak Mirror. As If you have Hex, you can win the Mirror. If you don't, it's a very baity matchup and it's going to be really sweaty. Or whoever has Energy or Shield Advantage. You'll lose against Obstagoon against all variations in the ones just because you it, it can, it does, it hard resists you and those Night Slashes hurt. Night Slashes will give you a very bad day, especially if it gets the boost. Now, you can still fire spin down Alolan Alola Sand Slash, and you still beat Skarmory with many variations. Again, you're going to lose against Snorlax still. You'll lose against Stunfisk and Talonflame. So, Talonflame is another one of those where you should probably you do your best to avoid it because unless you land like a Shadow Ball or if you have energy or shield advantage, you're not going to, it's not going to be a great time. Vigoroth you beat with Fire Spin, as you see here. This is where you convincingly lose with, almost convincingly lose with Hex because. Vigoroth in the one shield, and it does resist Hex. So you need Fire Spin is needed. You'll still beat Whimsicott and Wigglytuff, which is very good. You beat you, you'll still beat all Charmers in the twos and the ones. Now we go to the zero shield. All right, so it's strong in all positions. So we got the ones now. Here's the zero shield. I'm gonna run the real zero shield variation, and as you see here, very strong. It, the zeros gives you a lot of play. Well, depending on which moves that you have. So here we go. As you see, Bama still loses against all variations. Poor Bama does not stand a chance. In the zeros, you will be Dugong unless you have... I, you should be able to beat it. I don't know why you lose... Hold on. Out of curiosity, why do you lose this matchup? Dugong wins. Oh, it's because you don't... Oh, it's... A, wait, wait. Huh? Then why do you win with every other variation? That doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Shadow Ball, Bone Club. So Shadow Bone, Bone Club with Hex. Oh, this is because fi you Fire Blasted to death, don't you? Yeah, you Fire Blasted to death. So ironically, there's a one move set here, which is the Shadow Bone, Bone Club Hex, which actually doesn't kill Dugong because you can't fire off. You can't. You don't do enough damage to basically finish off Dugong, which is that's pretty funny. 
Anyways, you do this against Diggers B, you beat Driftblim if you have the Hex variation. Driftblim Shadow Ball will OKO you if it has energy lead. With a hex with the hex variation, you could actually take it out. So just be very careful. And I believe you shadow bone it anyways. Also, same thing with Frostless. It's the Shadow Bone Hex combination that really does it in here. Every other variation loses because you don't have Shadow Bone and Hex. That's why you win this. So Shadow Bone and Hex has some merit in the closer. You lose against Alola Graveler, Lantern, and Lapras because they can't okay you, except if you have the Fire Spin Fire Blast variation. Because I'm guessing you Fire Blast in the closer? So you survived that? Yeah, the Fire Blast actually kills. <laughs> fire Blast is 110 damage. That's nuts. So if you have Fire Blast, you can take it out with Fire Spin. So there's the Lapras variation. You'll beat Magnezone in the closer. Just because you, you have Bone Club and it's squishy. Mandibuzz does wall you, unfortunately, so be careful. And Alone Merak, again, depending on like who has energy lead, etc., you will win or lose. It just really depends. Obstagoon, you'll still lose convincingly unless you Fire Blast. Literally, f okay, so here's the funny part. The best moveset in the closer actually is the one with Fire Blast. Because Fire Blast lets you kill so many moves. So many Pokemon. The reason why Snorlax loses in the closer is because he Fire Blasted to death. Which is just freaking hilarious. So Fire Blast does have merit. Don't sleep on Fire Blast, because Fire Blast actually is one of the best closing moves, as you see here. Now, you still, you beat, like, Alolan Sandslash, Skarmory, etc. So, you'll beat Skarmory convincingly, unless you have Hex, like, Shadow Bone, Bone Club. Like, there's various reasons. There are various ones here, so just be, just be, be mindful of which one you do. Generally, you'll beat most of the same matchups. However, Hex, Fire Spin, and depending which double, which moves that you're playing, really does matter. As you see, you're able to beat Stun Fist, Talon. You are able to beat Talon Flame in the closer, so you can beat Talon Flame in the closer if it doesn't have shields. And then you beat Vigoroth, Whimsicott, and Wigglytuff. Unless you have Hex, which in the Wigglytuff does kill you. So be very careful. Now the two to one, and the one is zeros. That's the zero shield. So what if you have shields? What if you have shield advantage? If you have shield advantage. You beat a lot of matchups. This one's kind of specific. So, like, you'll lose against Altaria and Diggersby. You also lose against Lantern, Mandibuzz, Opsigoon, and Snorlax with most combinations. So, that's one, two, three, four, about five, six matchups. So, six relevant meta matchups. You have to be careful. So, just be careful about that. And the two to zeros, I'm pretty sure Lola Marowak beats majority of the meta. It does. So, in the two to zeros, those six matches turn into one, two, three, four, depending on which moveset you're playing. So, depending on which moveset you're running, it goes from six to four. Or if you're running the main moveset, which is Fire Spin, Shadow Bow, Shadow Bone, and Bone Club, if you're running Double Bone, you only lose two matchups. So, very powerful with shields. And I'm pretty sure very powerful in the two to zeros and with shield advantage. As you see in the two to ones, in the two to ones, you it's very interesting. Because you still lose, like, one, like, one, two, three, four. So you have four, you lose, if you're running the main move set, you only lose four matchups. I think one, actually five matchups. But I think, why do you lose against Dugong? Is this because it's bait dependent? If you call the Icy Wind, but you shield the Water Pulse, what happens? So I think this, this should be bait dependent. Because if you shield this instead of the Water Pulse, does it still win? Okay, so here's what you have to do. Okay, Call the Icy Wind, but shield. Okay, so this is a bait dependent matchup. So in the two to ones, if you call, as long as you call one of their Icy, as long as Dugong doesn't line a Water Pulse, you can win this matchup. So don't worry about this too much. So you, like I said, you have to like, just call the Icy Wind. If you can call the Icy Wind, you're fine. Because they have to double bait you, before, otherwise you lose. So it has to be double bait and then Water, and then water Pulse. You will, you will convincingly lose against Diggersby, Lantern, Mandibuzz too, and Snorlax. Now the big issue with AWAC is if they are carrying Mandibuzz, make sure you get out of there because it doesn't look like with any moveset, you don't like, it looks like you only win if you're in the two to zeros, I believe. Yeah, so you only win if you're in the two to zeros, otherwise Mandibuzz effectively walls you. Oh, uh, but that's, that's good because you have ways out. So you guys, you could take out Marowak. Also, Snorlax is the same way, I believe. Unless you're in, like, a specific scenario, you don't win against Snorlax. Yes, so Snorlax effectively walls you unless you have Fire Blast. If you have Fire Blast, you can actually take it out in, I believe, the zeros. Yeah, so you if you can take it out in the zeros... You, you, there's, there's a lot of play with Alola Marowak. That's what I like about it. There's a lot of moves that you can run, and there's a lot of options you can run. And even if you do run the standard moves, that Double Bone still does very well in the Holiday Cup. All right, so for the Holiday Cup, I actually give Alola Marowak slash AWAC a 10 out of 10. The reason why I give it a 10 out of 10, it has very strong matchups. You can farm down Alola and Sand slash and Abomasnow if you have it, if they have it on their team with Fire Spin, and you have options. So it's very strong in multiple scenarios. 
especially with like and and you have the option of customizing it has a very there's a lot of as you see here in the two shield awac does 67 percent so not it's very good as a lead however fire spin is definitely the way to go double bone is as you see 78 percent but that doesn't mean it's not the wrong option there's a lot of custom you can customize a lot with alola marowak you can run fire spin you can run hex as you see your fire spin does well in the one shield hex does well in the one shield as well now generally fire spin does better just because of the ice types that exist within the holiday cup that's why you see the fire spin doing much better however in the zero shield it's it's like like i said you have the option to customize fire spin generally does better but it also depends which moveset you want to run so it's up to you 69 percent I would definitely run fire spin though just because of like it's five billion like i said like in the pros you can you can actually set down farm you can far set down farm down plays so you can farm down you can farm down awac and you can farm down obama snow and also fire spin allows you to do really good like it allows you it flips the most matchups for what it's worth you can also use fire blast you can use shadow ball if you would like if you want stronger closing options as you see here if i switch from shadow bone to ball that's 69 percent. if i switch to ball from bone to ball as you see here it does really well still 65 percent. so you don't fall off too many matches and you can win the mirror so if you do a little marowak in the mirror and you have ball and they don't you can take them out with shadow ball depending on the scenario but as i said 10 out of 10 because a little is a very strong lead strong in other positions as well but you can also you have play and customize you can customize it so you have a choice of whether you want to run fire blast shadow ball shadow bone it's up to you what I would recommend is you double bone. Double bone is definitely going to give you the best option for it. And just like I said, because there's a lot of plays you can create with AWAC, I definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more Holiday Cup in the future since Holiday Cup is coming, is going to be here before we know it. And AWAC is very, very powerful for the Holiday Cup. Good luck on your Go Battle League sets, and I'll see you guys on the next video.